everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne. I'm a certified RV inspector, and today we're going to be talking about Cruise America Class C RVs, and should you buy one? Now, I get asked about this a lot. In fact, I'm surprised how often this subject comes up, so I just decided to make a video about it. Now, Cruise America is one of the largest RV rental companies in the country. And renting really is a great way for newer RVers especially to be able to learn about motorhomes in RVs and RV travel and camping without having to go out and purchase right away. But what about buying used Class C rentals? Is that a smart idea or not? Well, as almost everything else in the RV world, there are pros and there are cons to buying a Cruise America Class C RV. So let's start with the pros. And the number one pro is that you can buy them cheap. Yes, you can. You can save considerably by buying a Cruise America RV. In fact, when I did the research for this video, it appears that you can buy about a five-year-old Cruise America Class C for anywhere between the mid-30,000s to the low-40,000s. That's a good price for an RV of that age, so that's a pro. The second pro is that Cruise America, on their website, claims that they maintain and they refurbish every single unit before they sell it to you. In other words, what they're saying is that as that unit goes through its service life, they're going to maintain it as it comes in each time and keep it up to par. And then before they sell it at the end of its service life, they're going to go through and refurbish it completely. Now, it's up to you to decide how well you think they do with this kind of thing or how much you believe what they had to say. Personally, I'm pretty skeptical when large companies make these kind of claims because they're very hard to actually verify. However, I will say this. If they do indeed maintain and refurbish their units as they say they do, that's a real pro. The next pro is that Cruise America is going to give you a warranty of some type with every sale. They will give you a free three-month, 3,000-mile 3, warranty, but they'll give you the option of spending $2,000 more to get an engine and drivetrain warranty that extends the coverage out for five years or 100,000 miles. So, in other words, when you buy other Class C RVs on the used market, very often you'll be buying it as is. But in this case, you have warranty options, and that's a pro. The next pro is that it looks like you can actually rent to buy. In other words, it seems that uh, Cruise America will allow you to rent one of their units, go out and enjoy your camping experience, and then if you decide to buy one of their RVs, they will apply the money you spent on the rental to the cost of the RV. And that is a pro as well. The final pro we want to talk about is that they're all smaller Class Cs. In other words, they're easy to move around. They're nimble. For newer RVers, this is a pretty good idea because it helps you get used to working with motorhomes and doing it in a way that you're not overwhelmed. All right, that's the pros. Now let's talk about the cons. And the number one con, it's the biggie that's in everybody's mind, is it's a rental. And what is your experience with the way people treat rentals? I mean, from power tools to cars to whatever, isn't it true that generally if they don't own it, well, they don't worry about it. They will abuse it and use it in many cases, right? Well, it's true of these RVs. They get hard use. And very often it's newer RVers who aren't really good with 
working with this RV to begin with and driving it and parking it and camping with it and all of that. So indeed, they get hard use and that's a con. The second con we're gonna talk about is usually they have very high mileage on their units. In fact, the ones I have seen uh, recently have somewhere between 125 to 150,000 miles on their units. And for a gasoline engine, that's quite a bit. Now, if it was a diesel, you could expect it to go three, four, 500 or even more thousand miles and be fine, but it's a gasoline engine. So I highly recommend that if you buy a Cruise America RV with that high mileage, plan on budgeting for major repairs to the engine and drivetrain so that if it does come up, you're ready for it. The next con is you really only have the selection of one brand <laughs> of RV, and that's Thor. And the models you get to choose from are very limited. It really comes down to just a couple of models or so. So that's again a con. There's not a lot of versatility in your choice. The next con, these RVs are very Spartan. And I mean Spartan. There's not a lot in the way of features in these RVs at all. So don't expect to see slides, awnings, or leveling jacks in Cruise America Class C RVs. These are things that you normally expect to see, but you're not. And when you go inside, the interiors are very plain as well. They're made for utilitarian use, not for prettiness. Now, the thing to appreciate about this is that Cruise America is getting these RVs from Thor with the idea of renting them. Well, they don't want to put a lot of features in because features and amenities are easily broken in many cases and they're expensive to repair. So for the company's sake, they've kept that down. Now, whether that appeals to you or not is up to you, but I would say for most people, it's probably going to be a con. The last con we're going to talk about is that if you spend a little bit more, and I'm talking about $10,000 to $15,000 more than what the Cruise America is going to cost, then you're going to be able to get non-rental units that haven't had the hard use and all these other cons that we've talked about. They'll have lots more features and uh, you can be able to buy them on the used market and not have to buy a rental RV. So a little bit more money can often get you a lot more in the way of features and service. All right, now let's, uh, having discussed the pros and the cons, let's talk about who should consider buying a Cruise America Class C RV. Honestly, it's mainly beneficial for low price shoppers. In other words, those who want the least amount of investment possible. Also, those who maybe have very tiny budgets, you know, their, their budget just doesn't allow them to get much more in the way of a motor home. Well, then this kind of RV can fit you very well, especially if you don't need or even want extras and amenities. Now, it's true too that there's people that don't even want those amenities or extras or luxuries because they just consider that there are more things to go wrong. So if you've got a tight budget and you don't want a lot of extras, then the, the Cruise America Class CRV could be right down your alley. But now most buyers who want better quality, more features, more selection, well, then they really should choose to buy other used Class C RVs with other brands. So it really comes down to what is your choice of the way that you want to use this RV. What are you looking for in it? But let me say this, whatever you buy, my friends, get a certified NRVIA 
inspector to go through it top to bottom and make sure that it works when you buy it. And that's especially true, in my mind, with Cruise America Class C RVs. Make sure they have refurbished it like they say that they did. So if you get the inspection, and really whether it's a Cruise America RV or not, you're going to get a really good report on the real condition of that RV. And that way, if there are issues, you can get them addressed before you actually complete the sale. And that way, you can make sure that your RV works from the very first day of ownership, whether it's Cruise America or not. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. Mm -hmm.